Hi Chris, thanks a lot for having me on your channel. Um, I'm Kit, everyone, and uh, my channel is called Gorilla Physics. So my three top study tips are, you've got to practice using your equations because it, actually everything in physics kind of boils down to an equation at some point. Two, learn the syllabus as a whole. Don't wait for your teacher to cover something, okay? You are actually capable of learning on your own, you know? And the more you do that, the more in control you're gonna be and the more you're gonna understand. You need to, especially with new GCSEs and A-levels, you need to have a good grasp of the whole of physics. You wanna be completed all of your first time learning the course about halfway through that course. So really at the end of year 10, you wanna have studied everything at least once. Get your own textbook, go through it yourself, you can do it. And lastly, the third tip is really enjoy your learning. Physics is actually fascinating, it's, it's amazing. Um, really get lots out of the practicals that you do. Read around, watch loads of interesting YouTube videos, okay, and also really relish the challenge this is hard, okay, and you can do it and get involved, enjoy it. So however students revise for their exams, I just think they need to do it thoroughly. They need to make sure they don't leave any stone unturned. They don't just revise uh, a little bit at the end and just a bit of each topic. You need to make sure you've covered everything in your revision. Okay, so whatever you do, make sure you do that. You can, you can do flashcards, you can make videos, you can ask questions, quiz each other, just, just sit and read. Okay, but it doesn't matter as long as you cover the whole thing. And whatever you do, you've got to stay engaged. So there's two things, be thorough and stay engaged. So however you work, it's gonna be different for different people, but as long as you're not just passive, just flicking the page, not really taking it in while the TV's on, then you're gonna revise well. You need to be engaged in it, so whatever does that for you is important. At A-level, I love teaching simple harmonic motion, which is like waves, basically, okay? I just actually really love the way the sign graphs all relate, and it's a really nice use of calculus where um, you've got stationary points or max gradients and things like that, and I just love it when you can talk about, well, that graph is the, dif the integral of that, or that's the differential of that, and so on and so forth. I think that's really, really good. Um, but I also love particle physics and quantum because the really small stuff's just fascinating, isn't it? At GCSE, I love doing motion, and I love doing motion because it's probably one of the hardest parts to teach well, I think. Um, but there's loads of equations in motion, and it's when the kids, I think, really start to switch on to what physics really is and how you have to be able to manipulate equations, use units um, consistently. So it's when I think, with my classes certainly, it's when the kids start to really get fascinated by physics. It's something kind of tangible that they can see in front of them, the thing moving, the thing accelerating, and you can measure it. And that's really what physics is. It's just uh, finding ways to measure things more and more accurately to make conclusions. Why did I start a YouTube channel? Um, well, I'm quite a creative person, so it does allow me to engage my creative side um, more than just in my classroom because teaching is quite a creative profession anyway. Um, but it's definitely not about um, internet fame. I don't, I'm not ex expecting to be the next Pewdie PewDiePie or anything like that. Um, and it's not about getting ad revenue, okay? It's much more about trying to help you guys out, help my own students and actually help out students in other schools all around the, the country as well. Um, so it's about having a reach outside of my classroom. Okay, but also I actually started, the idea came to me when I left um, my previous school and I had a lot of kids who um, really, uh, I don't want to say they really liked me, but I, I, you know, I was quite a popular teacher really and um, I didn't want them to feel like I was ditching them, so I said, well look, I'm going to start making this channel um, and hopefully you can get my, my explanations that way as well. So I wish all students had a lot of confidence and by that I don't mean like they're louder in the lesson, I mean they're confident that they can find things out and get things right for themselves. And when they find things hard that it's only going to be a matter of time and a matter of studying um, to actually get there. So what I mean is that they take responsibility, that they prepare for lessons, that even though they know physics is hard that they can solve it for themselves. And that's going to be the most valuable learning when you're actually engaged on your own to solve the problems on your own. And once you've actually struggled with a problem for a little while and then you take it to someone else and you say, can you help me with this problem? Then actually you still get that really valuable learning rather than just being used to just kind of sitting down passively taking in, this is the next bit, this is the next bit, this is what I'm taught, teaching you today. 
Now, that's not generally as deep learning as the stuff that you find out and figure out for yourself. So I'd love to see you come over to my channel and check it out and maybe subscribe because Gorilla Physics is all about understanding the physics a bit more so you get more confidence in it so that you start to really enjoy studying physics more and then after that the exam success will come. So we're all about getting you those exam successes. I'm just helping you to build up through those stages. Okay, thanks a lot. And thank you very much, Chris, for this opportunity to be on your channel. Great channel. Well done and keep it up.